What's happening right now from RTV6, the Indy Channel. The Ellsville Town Hall was very wet on Saturday night. Floodwaters have struck again, and it might be the last straw. Council President Todd Oldham says this can't keep happening. New at 5.30, Derek Thomas reports a temporary location is being prepared, and the old site may be abandoned. Flood waters from Jack's Defeat Creek flowed down Sales Street in Ellettsville Saturday night. The water invaded the Ellettsville Town Hall for the fourth time since 1992. It's the second 100-year flood in the last two years. I do believe it was the worst one yet, and I think finally they, we have realized that we cannot continue on it, continue on an annual basis to move everything up and have a restoration company come in and dry us out. It's just too dramatic and too damaging to business. We conducted this interview on the second floor of the town hall. Downstairs is where the damage was done. Dehumidifiers continue to churn in the aftermath. Water was so high, water bill payment checks got wet. And um, they were totally soaked. So we had to separate them and tear the envelopes off and lay them all out on the carpet to dry. The town council has authorized $50,000 to temporarily move the town hall to Eagles Landing Mall and Old Elementary School. But the damage extends beyond the government building. Eldsville Computer Repair is right next door to the town hall. About three feet of water crashed into the building. The store has moved across the street. I've got nothing now. I have no internet access. Um, fortunately, I was able to move into this location right away. So I've got a place for my shop and I've got power. Diner says the insurance company has not told the owner of his former location whether it will be condemned or be rebuilt. The all too frequently flooded town hall faces a similar quandary. The town council will meet on January 13th. The future of the town hall will definitely be on the agenda. In Ellettsville, Derek Thomas, RTV6. The town hall hopes to move into the Eagles Landing Mall location on January 2nd.